Well, hello, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I got up here really early. I'm gonna take a nap in a minute. Uh, two of the best nights uh, sleep, two of the best uh, nights of sleep I've ever had have uh, actually been in my cabin here. These are actually DeWalt work lights, and I got it pointed at a silver reflector. I don't have any cell phone service down here, which is a good thing. It's extremely low EMF down here. If I uh, happen to have an emergency or something, I got ye old trusty satellite phone. Uh, my friends actually gave me that with a bunch of prepaid minutes on it. Um, got a, about a half a quart of wood outside. Um, while I was uh, kindling the fire, I actually have a computer over here and a nice little speaker system. I can uh, actually cook over here or I can cook on the stove top here of the uh, wood stove. I've got uh, 730 uh, amp hours of lead acid batteries. I got 413s over here and two of the uh, 150 amp hour golf cart batteries over there. I got a redundancy of uh, charge controllers. They're 60 amp uh, red energy charge controllers and uh, 2000 watt inverter there. You can't see it. I got another one over there. So there we go. All sorts of good stuff here. Things I've picked up. Some of my leather work over there. Uh, I have blackberries growing in the front yard, but there aren't any this time of year, of course. Uh, this is the radiant heat from my real uh, wood stove. It's just incredible. Just I've experienced every type of uh, interior heat source that you could think of, and nothing beats a wood-burning stove. That's for sure. Just don't put your foot on the glass. <laughs> Feet are a little cold. Whew. Oh, man. Just making the video, of course, earlier, a couple days ago, about uh, the world being upside down, and it is upside down. Um, can't talk about it on the tube, but, uh, a military factory that supplies, um, HVL to both, uh, it's Lake City, actually, Lake City, uh, HVL, um, they've cut off all, uh, consumer, uh, con uh, contracts for, uh, you know, sales, not... He said, oh, any overflow went to a civilian, basically Winchester, but it's Lake City. It's in the Lake City, uh, Utah. It's all been cut off. That's like a little over 30% of civilian market. And so I noticed all such things have uh, vanished overnight, either that or they're about 60% uh, or 100% higher than they should be. Um that's not a good sign. Um, apparently, a lot of people are talking, and it's pure speculation, but it seems reasonable that it's going to go to the IDF for uh, for their use. I'll let you guess what that use might be. I'm not taking any position one way or another, I just like keeping my head on a swivel to know what's going on. Down here is incredibly nice. You want to take a peek outside? I brought uh, a little ice cooler with some uh, roast beef and some butter and uh, some English muffins and uh, make a roast beef sandwich after I wake up from a nap. It's uh, Sunday. And the only reason I've got these plastic jugs is because I got them for like $4 of the water in it. I would normally never buy water in plastic. I know someone's going to comment on that. I'm totally against water in plastic also, but uh, 
just as a storage container for like gray water and whatnot. I also too cleaned off my solar panels. Let's get up. There's a little electric fan. Oops. There we go. Let's take a step outside. Yep. And do the lock here. Get you old Tacoma. <sighs> kind of need some new deck boards here on the uh, porch, porch boards to get more sun to my solar panels for my energy system. Also too, three of the trees were a danger uh, on the cabin. I had uh, five trees taken down. This is a gray water system that actually takes water off of uh, the roof, funnels it down here. Right now I have it shut off. That's just for like washing dishes or laundry. Um, I think this is a 325 gallon tank. I cleaned off my solar panels. I haven't been here. I've been so busy. And I did go on vacation. Um, thankfully. But uh, even after uh, six weeks of uh, not having been out here, uh, solar panels didn't really need a cleaning. Uh, those are hickory. Which now that they're partially cured are basically be impossible to split. It rained early today and yesterday. So it's a bit overcast. The sun's peeking out over there. Yeah, there's my Tacoma. It's the only vehicle I've got. I've never seen a bear out here. I think uh, Kentucky only has uh, small brown bears are more afraid of humans than humans are afraid of them. I've never seen one, but you'll like find one in wood piles like there. And this is actually a tarp covering up. Covering up um, like a quarter of a cord of wood. Like if you took that tarp off and you just reached in there willy-nilly, that's stupid. I've never seen a copperhead out here. My buddy, there's a cabin just down from me here. He's found a couple in this wood pile. But, uh, you know, they are poisonous snakes, but no real danger. I've never heard of anybody dying from a copperhead in Kentucky. I'm sure there's probably been one or two. These are also little containers for wood. I own that whole... Ridge line, mountaintop, whatever you want to call it, all the way back there and all the way down that way. There's lots of turkey out here and a lot of deer. But uh, yeah, this is so nice. I'm going to take a nap. Because <laughs> I was up to like, oh, uh, actually, I was up to 4 a.m. Technically, I didn't get any sleep last night. I was so busy. Um, it's cleaning up the cabin, sweeping. It's good having electricity. I could get by without it, but it's good having electricity. In the ye old cabin. Yeah. So there we have it. I'll, uh, be back for live stream tonight, so. Ah. Uh. You hear that? Exactly. Exactly. How do people tell me this is heaven? It's like, oh, this is my dream. I keep hearing this every time. I super rarely ever post a video at the cabin. And my answer to that is, it's true, it is heaven. <laughs> I'll actually take a pot, a uh, cast iron stove up here, put some oil in it, and uh, Pop some popcorn. I'm not going to do that this time around. Or uh, wrap up a, a tater. That's Kentucky talk for potato. Wrap up a tater and stick it on top here. And yeah, there we go. Man, nothing beats the radiant heat of a uh, wood burning stove. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. I need some more dry wood in here. It is amazing. Even just like being here for eight hours or so today, how much uh, wood you can actually burn. I've already gone through. 
Uh, four quarters, big quarters of logs. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go, uh, temperature inside's already up to like uh, 74, 75 in here. Nothing beats a large wood burning stove. And, um, Many, many, many tens of acres of limitless fuel source. So free heating. That's what the government doesn't want. They do not want people to have wood stoves because it means free heating and free cooking. They don't like that. It's a renewable resource and you don't have to pay for it. Nature grows it for you. Man, the government hates that. They really do. That's why, boys and girls, they want to ban wood stoves. Can't have free energy. No, no, no. Thanks so much for watching.